In this video, I'm going to talk about how to gain skills required for career in software engineering. So this video is mainly targeted towards the people who do not have any formal education in software engineering or in computer science. So basically, I'm going to mention four steps that you can take in no particular order if you want to increase your chances uh, to have a career in software engineering. And at the end of each step, I explain a go to action to make it simple for you to follow the steps. So first is by taking an online course on creating a software or apps. So one of the big reasons why there are not that many programmers in the world is that programming can be very boring. So traditionally in many schools or colleges, it is not taught in the way it should. So it is it may it might be too theoretical at some point and it is not enough to entice enough people to take programming one of the key drawbacks of the current system is that many books or courses don't define a goal well enough so if you are only learning something just for the sake of it without knowing where you are going to apply then you may not be very motivated to learning this so keeping that in mind my first suggestion is to take an online course where you know beforehand what you'll be building at the end of the course so for example let's say you're taking a course on html on javascript so if you know that by the end of the course you are going to build a course similar to candy crush uh, building a game similar to candy crush so that will incentivize you to not only start learning, but also to keep going when things get hard at some point. So to start on this, I would recommend taking any online course in Udemy or Udacity or YouTube or uh, MOOC. So from my personal experience, I have taken courses from Udemy. So before taking a course on Udemy, you can see its promo videos and in that video if the the person who is teaching if he is explaining what you will be eventually building then you might want to take the course and one good thing about udemy is that the videos are relatively small so you can focus on one concept at a time without getting overwhelmed so even if you are very busy and you have just 10 minutes, then you can make some real progress by going through one video and learning one concept at a time. So the go to action for this step is just go to udemy.com and based on what interests you, choose one of these courses. So if you want to build a motion detector or a website blocker or a web app, then you can take this course. If you're interested in games, you can take this course. If you're interested in building an Android app, take one of these. Or if you are simply interested in websites, then you can take this. And once you decide on whichever course you are taking, just stick to it. And do not give up for at least a couple of months until at least you finish a significant portion of the course and you will see dramatic improvements in your abilities in a matter of one month or two months. The next step is going to hackathons. Now, what are hackathons? These are basically events or competitions where hundreds of students or programmers gather to form a group of three or four people to prototype a software or an application of their choice over a span of 24 to 36 hours. So there are many advantages of going to a hackathon. One of them is you get to learn a new technology and you basically learn how to work as a team to build a product. There are technical workshops in the hackathon which are good for your knowledge. You get to have valuable contacts with other programmers which might be of very much of help for you in future. And there are companies sponsoring hackathons. So you can build contacts 
in companies which you which might be good for your future if you want to work in the company in future so to start off you can go to this website mlh.io if you are a student or you can simply google hackathons near me and try to take part in at least one hackathon per month if you can irrespective of your programming level so some hackathons or most hackathons they allow people to take part even if they have zero programming experience so my third step is going to meetups and events no matter where you live there must be some technical events or meetups happening around your place so if you simply go to meetup.com you can find technical meetups around you or if you simply google search or search on facebook javascript meetups near me or android events in bristol for example you will definitely find some events or meetups so these are good to increase your knowledge by attending the talks given in the events as well as you can you get a chance to reach out to more experienced programmers who can help you in future so your action here is to go to meetup.com and search for a related meetup if not just google it. and my final step is find a mentor this might be the most important step this is something which most people miss and most people don't realize how important this can be so if you are aiming to achieve something then it is always a very good idea to be guided by someone who has achieved it himself right so software engineering is no exception in this regard so it becomes much easier and your path becomes much more efficient if you can discuss and clarify any of your doubts also this person can give practical tips for to you uh, from his experience in his field and you will gain so much more from his experience than any book so therefore take time to find this person to by going to meetups or events or any technical events or maybe even hackathons um, and ensure you keep in touch with people especially the people who are successful in their field and never be shy of talking to anyone you feel like who has a potential to be your mentor and keep in touch with them and regularly ask your doubts to the your mentors and you will dramatically improve so in this step your action is to find a mentor through hackathons or events or meetups and ensure you clarify your doubts and be in touch so one final word i want to say is that it's not as difficult as it may seem and if you work honestly you can do it in four or five months if you want to know more details about how to increase your chances of becoming a software engineer as well as how to become a good software engineer then check this book out in amazon thank you